Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. My name is Will. With us today, of course, is Nine. Yo. And Mr. Gage. Hello. So we have so much, as always, to go over with you guys. More news, all kinds of news. We're going to be talking about some <laughs> Battlefront news, some Uncharted news, some Witcher news, some Tomb Raider news, some Vita news. Lots of news. More Call of Duty stuff. So we got a lot to go over um, and keep you up to date on all this stuff. So let's get into it. Um, let's start off with uh, Uncharted. Four. Uncharted 4. Ooh. So they finally came out and said why this game was delayed because everybody was kind of speculating that this game was going to be released this year. That was the hope, that the dream, the hope. as it were. I remember when you we shut up, Gage. PAX, we interviewed kind of funny and we had this thing and they kind of said, well, we think it's going to be delayed and all that kind of thing. Sure I, enough. And it's delayed like a week later. <laughs> just sure, yeah. Yeah, sure enough. But they came out and said why. They we want, finally know why. They wanted to change the ending. No, 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 change. no, 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 no. The not ending. change the ending. Finish the ending, because it has to be right. Something happens that, that needs a lot work. of work. Yeah. Huh. What do Which you has think fans just is? going off on tangents. Maybe they're trying to get the rights to Lara Croft. And make like a crossover game? Oh, yep. I would play the crap that out of that would game. Be cool. that I would, would be play cool. the crap out of that game. You do like co-op switch like in GTA. But you don't think it's, they're changing it. I mean, shouldn't they have already had the concept and the storyline down by now? Oh, I'm sure they've had the story down, but they've probably like What if Drake grows pieces. wings? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Dude, that actually probably could happen. Or what if they freeze Drake and he given wakes up in Destiny? Given, given the way the game plays out, that kind of stuff actually could game, happen. Because games sometimes get weird towards the end. I know, especially three, man. Three got really Freeze weird. Freeze Drake towards and the he end. wakes up in Destiny. No, okay. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Really. Anyway, they want to finish the ending of the game, so like you said, I'm sure fans something are happens like, uh, and they need it to execute properly. I wonder if it's just a storyline wrap up or actually. Is this the last Uncharted 4? Uncharted? Well, it's the last Uncharted 4. So this last is Uncharted? the last Uncharted, yes. Do you think he dies? I'm thinking that's what they're working on. Ooh. They can't kill off Drake, man. I don't think it's Drake. I think a very important character will die. Was like, did you see the alternate ending to I'm Last okay of Us? I'm not okay with anything else. Sully. <laughs> I, my, my prediction is Sully dies. Sully's an old guy, though, man. Was like the, the I think the he goes down in a blaze of glory, so. All right, moving on. Uh, we'll Battlefront beta is on October 8th, which is... Five right days. Week. Corner, um, Coming this week. When this game, uh, or when this show airs. So, so that's, what does that mean? We got to watch Braveheart sometime this week. <laughs> sometime soon, but right after that. <laughs> Nine's playing Battlefront. Only if we watch Braveheart. All right. Okay. If we never watch Braveheart, I never have to play Battlefront. That's true. That, was so. that, that is the deal. Okay. It's still gonna, we got time. Um, Plenty of time. Okay. I mean, we'll, we'll November 6th or something? Uh, for those of you who don't know, who's on the 17th. 17. Gage has not wanted to watch the movie Braveheart for some strange and unusual reason. Which and is Nine refuses to play Battlefront, but we make which it, is that for a stranger it reason. So we're going to make him watch it. We're going to make him play it, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. So keep posted for that. Yeah, uh, I'm sure they're so interested <laughs> in my movie taste. Uh, by the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV once again. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Hi. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Wolfenstein: uh, The New Order. Uh, the sequel was leaked by, I guess, one of the voice actresses. Apparently. Yeah, um, the chick that played the voice is the main like female role in the game. I can't remember her name right now, but she swears. Aria, Aria, Aria. Aria, yeah. Is it? Um, <coughs> Ol- Olawa or something. <laughs> what did you, you just call Olawa? <laughs> Olawa. <laughs> <laughs> is Olaf right is from Frozen. Olaf is from Frozen. <laughs> yes, that is correct. I spent a week at Disney, so I'm, you know. There you go. Uh, anyway, no, um, <laughs> she swears that it, they're working on it and that it should be out by no later than 2017. And how else would she know about it other than just probably being in it herself? Probably being in it, because, you know, she plays a pretty yeah, important role. Yeah, that kind of gives away if yeah. you're actually there. Yeah. 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 Kind of like Nolan hey, you're reading for the new world that we can last of us, too. <laughs> yeah. You don't mind if I tell people about this, do you? What about, can I tweet this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that Prince of Persia that was supposed to be at E3? That's what I want to know. What a loser what, for saying that, that. Is that the one that Nolan is... No, there's no, we talk about this, we don't, I don't think that's the Warner Brothers thing, because Warner Brothers doesn't own Prince of Persia. What was it, what or, was he working on then? Something big with Warner Brothers. That's all we know. That's all we know. Okay. Probably Superman. Nolan. Okay. Which I'm not excited for. All right, uh, also... A uh, game that we saw at Super Smash Con. Super Smash Con was, of course, a great event. We can't wait to go back next year. Uh, basically, a huge, long weekend of nothing but Melee, Smash 4, 64, and Brawl. 
tournaments all over the place. Nothing but, but there Smash were, Brothers. There were developers there as well, some indie developers, and one of those games was Rival of Ether. Uh, we got a chance to interview these guys, uh, super great guys, great, great game. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that, that game, game, that was probably one of the most fun yeah. of the indie games we played. And that's hitting Steam. Um, and early access. You know, on Early Access yeah, early, early right, early now. Access right now. Yeah. Should be checked out. People are streaming it like crazy. What do you guys remember about this game? So it's basically a brawler like Super Smash Bros. Yeah, it's, it's built like on the same premise as Smash and all yeah, that fun stuff. But each character is unique. Um, they have like, uh, like an element based around them. Yeah, I right. played the wind character. I played the poison you, cloud yeah, character. Fly. That was the bird. I had I four jumps. Lion or I, rock I played two different characters. I played the dolphin, which was a mistake. Mm -hmm. That character was so bad, so bad. And then I played the Poison Cloud. I think it was a raccoon or a fox or something, so which is like an. Right? Like, there's like there's like they're all lion. they're all based off of animals. There's yeah. lion. There's a dolphin. There's a shark. Bird. Bird, yeah. like an owl. I think it was. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it was Pretty cool. cool stuff. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Actually, some of the games that were there were. Um, all smash kind of relate. Well, Everything except for that one sneaky ninja. And Rock, Paper, Scissors was awesome, of course. Yeah, Rock, Paper, Scissors was um, awesome. Tony, great guy. Um, but yeah, no, Rivals of Ether is great. Uh, it was, that was one of the games that stood out to me. Yeah, I, I liked it. Definitely the most polished looking one, too. Do you think so? I think so. Okay. Super Smash, I gotta, Smash I Flash was cool. Yeah, that was fun. Smash Flash 2. They don't Smash talk about Flash Smash two. Flash. That's right, we don't. Should not be <laughs> <so>. Shh. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> but no, that, that was great. Um, there was one other game I think we liked. Skyhook. Skyhook. Skyhook was a lot of fun. I loved Skyhook. That was, awesome. that was awesome. I'll play Skyhook right now. Beat anybody. We have codes. I do have codes. All right, guys. So when we get back, we're going to talk about Witcher 3, Tomb Raider, and the PlayStation Vita right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we just got done talking about Uncharted Battlefront Beta, October 8th. It's going to be awesome. And some games we saw at SmashCon, Rivals of Ether. Uh, right now we're going to talk about Witcher 3. Uh, Witcher 3 came yes. out, sold a ton of copies, a Six massive, million. huge game. It, was a good, it, it did well, right? Yeah, very well. Yeah. Now you guys played it. Uh, now here's here's the thing that <laughs> well, Gage played it. It had a bad experience with it and hasn't played it since. Well, well I, 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 <laughs> I haven't been back. I have heard that a lot of people love the game. Oh, I absolutely! Love it. I think it's fantastic. But just like you, they have not come close to finishing it. Yeah, well, Gage either. and I are nowhere near the end of that. But you game. guys aren't alone. I mean, this is a common thing about this game. Um, they love it. Everybody loves it, but nobody's going to finish it. Fine. Whatever. So um, it's a good problem to have. Hearts of Stone adds 10 hours of storyline. So the DLC that's coming out, of course, is free. Uh, no, 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 this no, is no, not free. This, this is, is part of the expansion free. pass. Oh, oh okay. This is part of the season pass that they were selling, the first of two. But their DLC is free, though, right? The DLC, the 16 DLCs they released prior to this are free. Okay. Basically what they this had in the game and cut out. This is an expansion, story. not DLC, as they're so calling it. So it adds 10 hours of story and... A ton apparently. of side quest stuff. That so. DLC is longer than the Something. amount of time I've spent with the game. Yeah. Yeah. Eight hours. Not longer than the amount of time I spent in the game. Most most games you can put eight to ten hours in. Fine with me. And beat it. This is just an expansion that's that long. Yeah. Yeah. So that's this is a story that's that long. Awesome. There's tons of side quest stuff to do. Again. How much? Does anybody know? No, they didn't go into detail, but um, I read a couple articles where they said that some of the side quest stuff, one mission took them over an hour to do. I why I, I, it's too long. It's an RPG thing. It's too long. Dude. It's an RPG thing. It's too long. Yeah, get yourself engrossed into it. What, some people want to live in this world and, and get involved. I don't want to live in the yeah, Witcher but world. But I got man. outside That friends. place is sadistic. <laughs> you know what I mean. They want to get into stuck in a basement. and enjoy their game for... I'll live in the Fallout you know, world. A long period. Exactly. A long period of time. Games like that. I'm not, I don't want to commit to an hour-long mission. Why not? Because usually I don't play for longer than an hour and a half, two hours at a time. So if you're having fun, that, that good time goes by. But it, what if it's not fun? What if it's grinding? Well, then the game's no good. Uh huh? What's the game's <laughs> Look at that. What's that? We just kept them saying. We just grunt now. <laughs> oh, good. That's going to be our rating system, grunts. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Wister gets one grunt from me. Uh -huh. Out of three grunts. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so look out for that. I don't. It, it costs. So do we know how much? Uh, the season pass is twenty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay. Which is still cheaper than most of the season passes. ETA. 
Uh, it's October 13th, oh, I believe. So right around the corner. Then. Yeah, it's right around the corner. Are you too busy playing Battlefront? So you guys look out for that. Uh, by the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name is Will. <coughs> this is Nile. Yo. This is Gage. Hi. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming out with a bundle for Xbox One yes. to one terabyte uh, console as they've been releasing yeah. the terabyte consoles for a while. Uh, it also comes with Tomb Raider Deluxe Edition. Definitive Edition. Definitive, Definitive Edition. Edition. Which is, if you're, you're paying 400 bucks, getting a one terabyte console and getting two, two games. awesome games. We don't know if Rise is good yet. I'm assuming it will be, but we don't know for sure. True. If it's, if it's close to if the it's anything Tomb like Tomb Raider, it's good. It'll be great. It's right. sh- agreed. I totally agreed. Uh, I'm but just mad. I gotta wait a year. All these consoles are. It seems to be the thing. I mean, they're releasing these consoles with the game inside, and it's just whatever the hot game is at that moment. Well, that, that's just the first console. Madden had its own console. Right. FIFA, FIFA had a, had Forza. Its own console. Forza. FIFA. Destiny. <laughs> Destiny. Destiny had two consoles. Two consoles. Halo Five. Halo, Halo Five. <laughs> Call of Duty's got one. Battlefront's got one. Yeah. Battlefront's got them all. So this is this is only the first bundle they've announced so far of five. They're doing five all this week. They're doing four more. Yeah. And we're just talking about Tomb Raider one. Four more consoles. Four more console bundles. This is the thing. I think. I think it's a thing. I mean, it's going back to <clears throat> you know what I remember with the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. You buy a console, you get a game. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's how I'm looking at this. You should get a game when you You're buy a console. You're spending six, think, five hundred, six hundred dollars on these things. You should get a freaking game. That was my only gripe. Smart. I think it's a good. I don't know how they're figuring out the econo- uh, economics of, of that situation, but they. Well, still, I mean, it is a game that is being bundled in there. It has value, right? So. But yeah, but Sony does, and Microsoft paid for X number of copies. That's why there's only certain. But, so it's still it's a it's a cost to them, then, right? But selling their consoles. But it is moving consoles, and I think that's the the little edge that's pushing, <laughs> pushing, <laughs> sorry, pushing people to buy those consoles, right? He had a yellow cookie earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the last of us bundle, a lot of people bought that because it was no longer just the console. That as I bought the last of us bundle because it was the last of us bundle. It was right. coming with the last of us. Right. But now it's like all over the place. It's like every other. Which it should be. And I bought a $500 console day one without a game. If it would have came with a game, I would have had no problem with it. That, my only gripe was it didn't come with anything. Yeah, but it was a day one edition. It was day one edition. Yeah, so. But still. When your controller says day, day one. It does. That's it. That's still say it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I enjoy it. So, uh, Sony says that um, people are not interested in the Vita successor. It's not a healthy move. Got me in that group. I, I mean, how well has the Vita actually done? Is my, I think it's done fairly well. It I didn't s- do as good as the original PSP did. They, of course, released three different versions of that, so they're still. And with it for when the- they got to the PSP Go, they should have just shot themselves. I, I agree with that statement. And uh, no one ran away and was going, "This is probably a bad idea, right?" <laughs> yeah. It's probably bad. All those throw the guys out the window memes, yeah. comics that you see. This but, is the Vita. <laughs> throw that guy out the still window. doing okay. They're they're putting out good titles for it. Some some interesting titles. And, and I mean, still they have so. they've lost a lot of groundwork with the Vita. Yeah, they're still producing for it, but I do see where Sto- Sony's uh, stance is here, mm-hmm. that, where they're saying we're not going to invest into a whole new try to make it better thing. I say just stick with it and put out good games. It already compa- it's already compatible with the PS4 and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Well, everything I kind of wanted there. to see where they'd go with it, but, you know, I'm not heartbroken that it's not coming. Twist the metal. <laughs> and I'll buy it. Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, um, so when we get back, we'll talk about uh, Call of Duty Black Ops and some other things right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got done talking about The Witcher 3, the expansion pass, 10 hours of gameplay, uh, an Xbox One uh, package with Tomb Raider. It's going to be great. And uh, Sony <laughs> Total cop Sorry. album, we'll take uh, it. <laughs> Sony saying that people really aren't in, in the VS successor. Surprise. All right. Um, so, uh, TwitchCon was just recently. Sweet. Did you guys watch any of that? No. no. Critical <laughs> stuff. I was stuff in on Disney Twitter. all week. Oh, yeah. that's right. Well, so I, I had a wedding. Not, Engrossed in anything. So right. some of been busy. There, apparently there's a Twitch app coming to the PS4. PS4, PS Vita, PS3, PS TV, everything PlayStation. Which is nice because I'll download it to my PlayStation 4 and probably never use it. Just yeah. like I do on my Xbox. 
I don't use any of my video apps Actually, except that for back. Netflix. That's the only video app I ever use. Oh, you well, I got more than that. Although, <laughs> I kind of am excited for a dedicated Twitch app because I, I would rather use a dedicated Twitch app than watch the streams through the built-in PlayStation app. Because yeah. it's not... It just doesn't feel the same right. to me. Yeah, because it prompts you saying this many people are streaming this game right now and that kind of thing, right? Kind of. You're, you're limited. Your, your chat log is very, it's like 60 characters, which is not a lot. Right. Um, you're limited to only PlayStation content, not all content, sure. which is kind of a bum. On my yeah, because we have to watch PlayStation games. Yeah. <sighs> Boring you or no? I, I, it's late. <laughs> but you know, I, I I like this. This is a smart move. It should have been this way from the beginning, but Sony tried to buy their way in. Yeah, I like I like the idea uh, of of doing it. I mean, Twitch obviously a, a huge success, and I think will continue to be a success as competitive gaming it goes on the rise, and people kind of want to show off what they can do and just do their own streams and all that kind of stuff. So sure. share with friends, so forth and so on. So hopefully, this is just another tool. Uh, for people to use that are interested in letting the world know how they game and all that kind of stuff. They probably run better too, because all my video apps on my Xbox run poorer than my PlayStation apps. So yeah, mm, maybe be nice. My YouTube app on Xbox sucks. My YouTube app on my PlayStation is awesome. I don't know why. It's just way better on PlayStation. So Microsoft, can, awesome. let's fix that. Yeah, please. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> um, Can't so fix the frame. TBS, the TV channel is to host uh, CSGO League in uh, 2016 Counter-Strike. So um, this is interesting. This is very interesting. I think, is, is, this the, is this what we can expect to see from gaming? Gaming's already on ESPN. ESPN. Yeah, ESPN's got it. By the They've way, had it for a couple years. This episode on ESPN in the, the Maryland area. So we're actually, our show is actually on ESPN as well. But I think people in gaming, might they expect to see esports on ESPN? Even more frequently than what that already is. Yeah, I mean they've, they've been trying to push on ESPN. And they'll put, I mean ESPN too. But like, I mean it's still there. It's still an ESPN channel. A lot of like uh, people, like I watch ESPN regularly. A lot of people who work for ESPN, they don't get it. They don't understand, and they've been very vocal about it. They haven't fined for saying bad things about it. They're trying to make esports a thing because of how massive it is. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're right. I don't think they get it. I, uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of people that are predicting this ends up in like. Some kind of like the Olympics and all this kind of stuff. As a I don't think it's going to go that far. But that's the, that's the scale. Of I think we'll have our own grow. like massive gaming culmination kind of thing. But I don't think it'll make its Olympic debut ever. I mean, we got we got national world far. champions all the time. Yeah, and it's you know, uh, we'll, <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. But it's so <laughs> 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 well, okay. uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, obviously that would be a huge. Stage to that would be a huge people. stretch. Yeah, but these people are giving out. We have a Dota 2 but tournament coming up, and they're giving out millions and millions, millions and millions of dollars. dollars. Oh, yeah. This this is, this Counter Strike competitions this go for millions of yeah. dollars. I don't league think tournament. I don't the last league tournament last year was like a $10 million prize pool. I don't think it's outside of the realm of the Olympics, but I think you're going to see more world championships. I think you're going to see plenty of nationals happen all the time, and I there's think, just money to blow. I think you're oh, yeah. spot on with that statement. I don't, uh, I don't think it's outside of the realm either, right. I, but I do think it'll be in those kind of. You know, large scale events. If you're giving scholarships out for this kind of stuff, you're probably gonna see you know, the Olympics. You know, people. Some people are living off. You know, they're, absolutely. They're a building. Oh yeah, but, but it's a small is, percentage. Uh, you know, this is this is mainstream yeah. TV, right? The upper echelon. Oh yeah, TV is cable. So. By the way, you're you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Gage. Hey, this is not. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean mainstream TV. I mean this is a this is a big deal. I think. I don't get TBS. But <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, never mind. Nine, stick to your Twitch app. No, I think it's cool too that you know it's making it further down the channel lineup till one day it ends up on like Fox and CBS and NBC I mean, and all that stuff. Yeah, I can't wait That'll to flip awesome. through twenty channels of just esports. Like, oh, if more yeah. esports. My grandkids are gonna be like, yeah, man, esports on every channel. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. they're e gonna be pining for the days of football and baseball on TV. Mm -hmm. When they got dedicated channels for everything else, I think I think it'll get there. Oh man, and the game is blacked out because too many people want to play StarCraft too. Woo! No. <laughs> there was a gaming <laughs> channel at one point, and it's not around anymore. G4. Yeah. Well, you know what happened to that. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, and lastly, of course, we told you we'd talk about Call of Duty. Apparently, there is a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 PS4 coming out. Some of you might already know this, but. 
finally, it's a one terabyte console, which a lot of people were waiting for for sure. from Sony. Uh, but it, it is a, it's a specialized console, all right? So yeah, it's it's got the three logo on it. The controller's all done up in black and orange. I love <laughs> the controller. It is awesome. It's not as good as Darth Vader. It's not as good I as the Vader controller. The one red button just sets it apart. Yeah, it's just now, I agree with that as well. <laughs> I think it's just under it, though. It's pretty snazzy looking. I don't think I it's like as good it. as the other controllers. Are I don't like the color I like orange. I despise the color orange. I love it. I think it's great. Um, but this guy. it's not as good as the uh, Darth Vader, Vader controller. But the console looks good, too. Yeah. It's good. Man, they... Looks they, like my console with an outline. They're really going all out because... <laughs> They got the the fridge. They got the you know all these different I dishes. The juggernaut I buying those fridges. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so if uh, you Call of Duty Black Ops fans out there and you want to get a PS4 this holiday season, it's that's a perfect reason to upgrade. The console for you. You get the game, of course, the special edition stuff, all that kind of thing. So there you go. Um, that's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. You can, of course, check us out on YouTube.com/psvgtv, and please check us out. This month, we are finally launching PressStartTV.com, so you can catch all of our content right there. Uh, you can, of course, check out episodes of the Checkpoint Podcast. Uh, so we got, we have a lot of fun with you on that. And uh, Gage and Nine uh, have been streaming a lot, so check us out on Twitch.tv/slash Press underscore Start underscore TV. Thanks again. Until next time. <laughs>